What is ETL? The full form of ETL is Extract, Transform and Load is a process that extracts the data from different source systems then transforms the data like applying calculations, concatenations, etc. and finally loads the data into the data warehouse system. The full form of ETL is Extract, Transform and load. Let's discuss each one of them. Extraction. In the first step, data is extracted from a source, for example, Salesforce, Google AdWords, etc., into a stagging area. The stagging area acts as a buffer between the data warehouse and the source data. Since data may be coming from multiple different sources, it's likely in various formats and directly transferring the data to the warehouse may result in corrupted data. The stagging area is used for data cleansing and organization. A big challenge during the extraction phase is how your ETL tool handles structured and unstructured data. All of those unstructured items, for example, emails, web pages, etc., can be difficult to extract without the right tool. And you may have to create a custom solution to assist you in transferring unstructured data if you choose a tool with poor unstructured data capabilities. Transformation The data cleaning and organization stage is the transformation stage. All of that data from multiple source systems will be normalized and converted to a single system format, improving data quality and compliance. During the transformation stage, data may undergo any of the operation like cleaning, filtering, joining, sorting, splitting, deduplication, summarization. Loading Finally, data has been extracted to a stagging area and transformed is loaded into your data warehouse. Depending upon your business needs, data can be loaded in batches or all at once. The exact nature of the loading will depend upon the data source, ETL tools and various other factors. Sometimes the data is updated by loading into the data warehouse. Very frequently and sometimes it is done after longer but regular intervals. The rate and period of loading solely depend on the requirements and vary from system to system. The ETL process requires active inputs from various stakeholders, including developers, analysts, testers, top executive and is technically challenging. To maintain its value as a tool for decision makers, the data warehouse system needs to change with business changes. ETL is a recurring activity, daily, weekly, monthly, of a data warehouse system and needs to be agile, automated and well documented. The first stage is the extraction. If you have many data sources, such as files, databases, spreadsheets, etc., that you want to transform into a different format, an ETL tool will automatically aggregate all this data for you. This data goes into what's called a stagging area, where the information is temporarily housed. Specifically, there are two main types of extraction methods, logical and physical. When it comes to logical extraction, there are two subtypes. Physical extraction. There are two types of physical extractions, online and offline. Online extraction. Online extraction is when the ETL tool has a direct connection to the data sources. And talking about offline extraction. Offline extraction is when the data is not extracted directly from the source. Instead, it gets aggregated into a flat file which can be used to create charts and analyze the data manually. Transform The transform stage is where data transformation takes place. This is when you apply the filters, functions and any other criteria you want. As the user, you will have goals and clear visions of how you want the data presented upon completion.
because ETL tools are highly customizable. It's up to you to tell the tool what you want. For example, you may want to combine several data sets to present all the data in uniform or display sales data in a way that's easy to analyze and spot strengths and weaknesses for geographic areas, sales teams, product, and so on. Some of the key benefits of this stage over manual transformation is telling the software to take global changes to the datasets. For example, you can eliminate special characters, completely change the layout of data, remove erroneous records, and more. Load Once the data transformation process is complete, the final stage is loading the data into a data warehouse. Loading large amount of data into a warehouse makes it easy to access and use the data. Regardless of how many different types of data went through the ETL process, the result is one clean set of data that is ready to use. It is essential to properly format and prepare data to load it in the data storage system of your choice. The triple combination of ETL provides crucial functions that are many times combined into a single application or suite of tools that help in the following areas. It helps companies to analyze their business data for making critical business decisions. Transactional databases cannot answer complex business questions. That can be answered by ETO. It enhances business intelligence solution for decision making. Enables a common data repository. Allows sample data comparison between source and target system. Helps to improve productivity as it codifies and reuses without additional technical skills. ETL offers a deep historical context for the business. It brings out meaningful patterns and insights. Converts assorted data into a consistent format. Aids derive business intelligence from data. Contains readily usable components effortlessly manages the complex transformation, offers maximize return on investment, that is ROI.